<laughs> yeah, baby. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare series. I'm just getting back uh, from my trip to open trade route so we can start doing tier four uh, jobs. You again. I well, know you're not here to see my pretty face, so what can I get you? Looking to arm up? Check these out. And, uh, yeah, we're ready to start the Horde Night here, so I just want to make sure I got uh, everything I need uh, for that. I had a, made a few more uh, final supplies here, so let's grab all that steel. I already have um, stuff at the base, and um, I want to actually drop some of this stuff off for now. We need all of these, of course. Oops. Uh, not that. We'll look at, um, you know, read all that shit later. Uh, let's keep those with us. Um, we don't need the axe that or that for the Horde Knight. I didn't get around to making more Molotovs, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Let's, yeah, let's just eat this now. And drink this. And we'll put that in there. And then I'm also going to want uh, some extra of those. And I should have a few more. Yeah, we got more pipe bombs in here. Okay, so that should be good. I, I wished I, I was going to make some Molotovs and I spaced it off. So there you go. Um, you know what? We don't, we also don't need this. Um, and we're not probably going to use the crossbow either. But we definitely want the nail gun. And then that way we can put explosives and molotovs down there. Well, actually, yeah, we don't need the money either. Okay, let's head on over there. Um, is there anything in here that I want to bring over with me? I don't... Oh, yeah, medical stuff. Definitely. Let's grab all of that. Um, and some of these in case we get... A laceration. I think that's... Oh, and yeah, vitamins. Okay, that should be everything. All right, let's go. Cutting it kind of close here, but we're fine. So I made uh, a, a box at the top here to store some ex extra stuff because I knew I was going to be getting back, you know, down to the wire on the way back. So we got that up here. And let's just grab all of that. That's pretty much all of our repair stuff. And the difference between uh, the last Horde Knight and this Horde Knight is that we now have uh, two electric fences. As you can see there. And the the second higher one uh, is quite a bit further back than, you know, the, the lower one. The lower one's in the same spot. So hopefully, you know, if, if a cop explodes here... Uh, It'll be okay. All right, so uh, while we're waiting, I uh, got a discounted awesome sauce and the book that gives you 10% damage to humans and zombies from Trader Chin. Proven remedies only. And then I found the truck accessories uh, at one of the Trader Bobs. Yay! Got a huge discount on it. You again? 
Can't get enough of this. Machines that'll make you grin from ear to ear. Well, I'll be a monkey's wrench. Found uh, Urban Combat Volume 6 from Jin. We just need one more of those and then we're good to go. Ugh, no stim packs. And then crafted the 4x4. Four four. Haven't done anything with it, it's in inventory, but we now have it. Okay, let's do Horde Night 56. See how things go tonight. As usual, we're primarily going to use explosives, but we do have, you know, backup weapons too. So if we can keep our our fences intact, or even just one of them, then uh, I expect that this will go pretty well tonight. All right, let's cook this pipe bomb. Nice. Okay, we'll set one down there, set one down here. Let a few more get up here. Ah, cop, you can't spit on me, can you? <laughs> I never get tired of that. Never get tired of it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay. We gotta cook this one for a little bit longer. There we go. Nice. I am planning a... Uh, oh, shit. Are you kidding me? Did he... Wait, did he ruin both of those? Oh, my God. He, oh, no, he didn't. We still have one. Uh, or maybe even both? Wow, oh, shit. Fucking cops, man. I think he got uh, the lower one. Okay, let's uh let's do a repair on that. Yeah, he got the lower one. Okay. Well, see the thing is though is that the uh shit, I forgot to light that one. The other one's further out, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. By the way, I think I have, um, I think I already have a point and we're about 80% of the way to the next one. Look at that. Delivered a bag right to us. I love it. Anyway, well, what I was saying is I'm obviously going to keep this base here so we can always use it if we need to, but I'm planning something different um, for the desert. And I don't I don't know how well it's going to work. It's um it's a, not my design. It's another design that I 
got off of YouTube. Um, and by the way, just FYI, this is really kind of the first time in my entire Seven Days to Die career that I've tried other people's designs, I mean directly. Obviously, I've made bases before that are very similar, or maybe even almost exactly to other people's bases, but I still, you know, I didn't look them up ahead of time. I just put them together. But I figure, you know, this time around, let's try some of these really cool ideas that some of these other people are coming up with. And this one, of course, although it's my take on it, um, it still has worked out just amazingly well. Yeah, good. Those cop explosions are not getting to the further out wire, so that's that's what we want. Speaking of which, let's um give that a bit of a repair there. Okay. Wow, he wasn't even dead. Good thing I double-checked, huh? Okay. Try that again. Ha ha ha. Nice. Yeah, even just having one electric fence like that is quite effective. Don't even really need to, as long as we can keep that one from getting destroyed, you know. Bluey. Get out of here, cop. Alright, we should probably check repairs, but the thing is, is that electric fence greatly reduces the amount of damage that they otherwise would be doing, so we don't have to repair quite as often. We just got to keep the fence itself repaired, right? I need to start um, taking learning elixirs and also using Atom Junkies and I'm going to go do a massive, massive, uh, oh look at all the dogs, salvaging sesh. Um, and, and start making grenades uh, because you know you need uh, mechanical parts for those. Hey, we got a white. Oh, you know what? I never looked at my game stage. Uh, we're three under getting uh, from getting uh, demolishers. So we should not see any tonight. Unless our game stage bumps up above 150 before the night's over. I don't know how that actually works, I guess. Man, that works well. When I cook the, the bomb, it gets them down just a little bit lower, but then the two on top take care of all the, the ones on the top. Halfway down. We're in pretty good shape overall. Let's check these. These, are, of course, are the most important blocks. Let's 
touch him up. How we doing down below? Pretty good. Don't see a collection of dogs down there. All right, guys. Well, I think it's about that time to do the time lapse of the music. I'll see you in the morning. guys that is the horde tank finished it out at about 248 let's go down and get the loot skis um i think i'm gonna well yeah let's put this stuff in here for now and i'll come back and get it later when i'm ready to start repairing in fact all of this stuff should just go in here so we have maximum room get the blue bags first uh, I would really like to get that last urban combat magazine. That would be amazing. All right, nothing there. Usual, just stick everything in there. I think that's it. We didn't lose a single ladder. Yeah, this is the way to do this space, you guys. Uh, what, all we, all you really need is one electric fence. You don't even really need two, like I had before. And just keep them. I mean, if you built the base exactly the same as I've done, you want to keep them three out on each side. 
and uh, that seemed to have been enough to protect them from cop explosions. All right, let's go get our motorcycle and put on our nerdy chest. And we'll read all the magazines first, and then we'll go from there. Another very successful horde night. Okay, let's wear this. We got three armored up. Here, let's sort everything. Big hitters, wooden club. Okay, who cares about that? That should have gotten us something for archery. Okay, iron crossbow quality two. Did we get three? Uh -huh, we got three. Did we get four? Nope, didn't get four. Okay, three explosives. Nothing there, but we're pretty high up on explosives. Nothing for medical. Lever action rifle quality four. Nice. A couple more shotguns. I think we're getting fairly close to being able to make the auto shotgun. A couple more tacticals. Tools digest. Wiring. And that is it for the readable books. Uh, what is this? The biker outfit. That gives a maximum health bonus. That's pretty nice, but it's a medium armor. So I'm not thrilled about that. What is this? In Enforcer shoes. Yeah, we, uh, I think we already have we already have level 5 enforcer shoes. What's this? Raider gloves. Yeah, I've got level 5 raider gloves. Okay, so that's the that's the loot. Not really all that fantastic, but one of you guys told me part of the reason why my loot sucks on Horde Night is cuz I'm in the forest and that does make sense. So, you know, of course we'll be in the desert or I might even I might even build our next horde base in the wasteland just so that we do get maximum loot. Um, we'll see. I haven't decided that yet, but I have con given it some consideration. All right. So what I'm going to do, of course, is once again, get the base repaired back up so we can use it again if we need to or want to. I, I, I can't say for a certainty at this point that we'll be ready to try a new horde base by, you know, the next horde night. We might, we might not. So that's why it's important that I get this one fixed back up uh, so it's ready to go if we need it. Um, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll get that all taken care of and then I'm going to try and decide what to do about the 4 by. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and set it down and load it up. The thing about the 4 by though is I can't, I can't take my shortcut yet because I haven't... Where the hell is it at? Yeah. I haven't widened this tunnel yet, so I can't get the 4x through there. Now, what I might be able to do is just haul everything, you know, to this end and then put a, a chest down, put the stuff in it, and then pick the 4x up. So that is that is an option. The other option would, of course, be that we just go around. But I'll figure that out, um, and I'll bring you guys back at some point. Uh, later on with an update on how we're doing on that because i'd like to finish my move from here um as soon as possible so we have everything at the new base all right guys i have um packed up the four by um so it's completely full i prioritize food seeds um Grabbed the the parts of, that I feel like I'm going to probably need, uh, you know, in the next several days. And, um, you know, then, of course, I have all this stuff in my own inventory, too. Uh, but let's do this. Let's grab or, or switch out to that because we have a few things to read. And we also have some points we need to spend, too. So, obviously, I can't get everything, right? So, I'm leaving uh, all of this stuff here for now. I can always come back and get it later, but I think I got... I mean, there's quite a few parts and stuff in here too, or mods mostly, but I just, I don't think I'll ever need a water purifier mod. I mean, why? <laughs> They're very handy in the early game, of course. Uh, but, you know, I just figured, it, you know, going through this stuff, I don't think I need any of that, at least not immediately. Like I said, it's here. We got a buttload of ammo still here too, but, you know, that's something I might come back and get in a separate run later. But we got all this stuff to read here, so um, let's go ahead and do that now. I've, uh, handguns. Oh, we can make a 44 Magnum. Nice. 
another vehicle. We can make robotic sledge quality four. We'll probably utilize those at some point. Uh, I did buy this vehicle armor mod schematic from Trader Hugh when we op did opening trade routes. I didn't notice at the time, but this, I guess, apparently we can only use this for motorcycles and gyrocopters, but that's okay. We'll do that. And then let's open this. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> it threw it all on the ground. All right, here. We'll put a couple things in here. Uh, two more rifles. Okay. Uh, oh, look at that. We can make epic armor now. Nice. I'm glad I held out and didn't make the blue armor. So that way we can make top in quality armor sets. Um, and I just have to figure out what those sets are going to be. Obviously, we're going to make a mining set. You know, I mean, there's no question about that. But then, you know, we'll have to figure out what other set or sets we, we may end up making. Um, and I'm, it, it depends upon the bonuses, but I might ignore the bonuses and just put together a custom set that, you know, works for us across the board, sort of, you know, so to speak. So, okay. Now the other thing is, is we have three points to spin and I'm, I'm just trying to decide what I want to do about this because here's the thing. Um, we've had to use our M60 a few times to get out of really tight situations. And I'm starting to think I might want to actually put strength and perception on hold. I mean, I eventually want to get, you know, these maxed out, right? Uh, because we rely, we re rely almost exclusively on explosives for Horde Knight, but we're, you know, we're level four already. Uh, I do lots of sniping. Um, I want to get penetrator eventually maxed out, you know, so this is an important, um, skill for us or, or attribute tree, but, and of course, you know, we still have strength to work on too. Um, but we, we got Boomstick and Skull Crusher 4. Those are the two most important ones. We read the Urban Combat book that no longer slows us down in combat, which kind of makes heavy armor not really all that useful, to be honest with you. I mean, the durability part of it's certainly useful. So uh, I think what I want to do is I want to actually switch over and focus on Fortitude for a bit so that we can put some points into Machine Gunner because this is the thing that really saves our ass in those tight situations, which we're going to probably get into more and more of. Um, I heard that temperature's broken, and I believe it because I haven't even seen it uh, in the game, so I'm not worried about that. But, you know, living off the land would certainly help with farming. Uh, more pain tolerance, healing factor, those two would also be really good. Cardio is just not a big deal to us anymore. Iron gut's not a big deal to us anymore, except for the fact that, you know, we do get more... Uh, you know, the buffs last longer, so that's useful, but I wouldn't say it's essential. Uh, but mostly, you know, it would be for machine gunner and living off the land, pain tolerance, and healing factor. Okay, so now that I'm done blabbing about all that, we are going to go ahead and get fortitude to level three and machine gunner to level two. And we'll just start focusing on fortitude here for just a little bit. Okay, so I think we're done here for now. Um... I kind of like to take these crop plots with me, but, uh, you know, the super corn is still growing. So I think we're going to leave that as it is. Horde base is all repaired and ready to go for the next week if we, if we, you know, end up doing it again next week. We're definitely coming back for this ammo for sure. So, you know, I'll probably make another trip uh, for that for sure. Uh, all right. Let's get in the four by here. Now we need to take, uh, we need to consider our route back. So as I mentioned earlier, um, if we go our normal route and we get to here, we're going to have to unload the four by, pick it up and carry it through the tunnel. So I guess the question is, is that going to be a bigger pain in the ass than just going the long way around, which means that we would have to go to here. Then we'd have to go cross country over to here and then down this highway. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking I want to just do the cross country thing because that just seems like too much of a pain in the ass to, to have to do that. Now I'll eventually widen this tunnel, especially maybe once we get an auger because it, you know, it'll be worth doing because we'll get all the resources and the XP from doing it as well. Uh, it's just not something I'm, I want to do right now because yeah i don't want to do it right now <laughs> uh, okay so yeah that means then we are going to go ahead and, and take the 
uh, a drop came in too. It was somewhere over there, but I'm not honestly not too worried about. The drops are a little underwhelming. So if we never find it, who gives a fuck, right? Uh, so yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to work our way to here. And then I'm just going to go uh, cross country uh, into the desert. Oh, no, actually, hold on. No, it was this one. Yeah. Maybe to right here. I might need to do a little bit of clearing to move across the wasteland here. Because, you know, obviously we can't uh, dodge stuff as easily as we normally would be able to do. And, oh, shit, you know what I forgot to do? No, you guys don't, because I'm going to tell you. I forgot to put the fuel saver mod on here. I need to take that out of the bike. So let's do that. Because this uh, 4x is one hell of a fuel hog. Um, and, and actually, yeah, let's do the supercharger, too. So that means, here, let's just temporarily put something over here. Let's give ourselves a couple of slots there. Okay. So let's go into here, and we're going to grab the supercharger and the fuel saver. And we're going to put those into here. And we have three more slots. So we're still on the lookout, of course, for the reserve tank. Uh, but we haven't found it yet. All right, let's pick this up. And I'll just carry the motorcycle in my own inventory. Are we hungry? Yeah, let's take one more of those. It's going to say something else, and I can't remember what it was now. All right. <laughs> Love the four by in, in the in one dotto. Just amazing. So yeah, let's um head on over there. And we'll probably stop by the other bobs on the way back just to see what they have. Um, what I'm really looking for at this point now is the um, volume seven, I think it is, of urban combat. Let's look at that real quick. Yeah, so we just need volume seven, which is a very good magazine. I mean, I've already said this, but <laughs> pretty much everything in urban combat is like just stellar. But I want to get the silencers have no damage so that we can start using silencers without any penalty. All right, guys, I'm back and uh, I have spent pretty much the entire day 58 uh, working around the base and uh, got, got a lot done. So let's go. Let's go check in here first. So this is like the workroom here and we got a lot of shit going on in here. Um, I got two workbenches in place. And then um, storage for, you know, all of this stuff. You can see what pretty much what's in there by based upon what it's, you know, labeled as. Um, this is not necessarily at all the final, you know, configuration. I, I'm mostly right now just have it so that it's functional. Um, so I have all my meds and chems and all that kind of stuff here because this is where I currently have the chem bench. Um, I might move all of that down into the bunker because there is a medical room down there. It's just that it's so far away, so I haven't really decided yet if that's what I'm going to do. Uh, these are now just drop chests in here. And let's see, I, I put, I thought I could maybe, you know, make this the armor room. Um, but I, I'm not so sure, you know, it's because it's got the washer and dryer and stuff, but the problem is that these blocks actually take up this whole space. So I might have to rethink that. Maybe we could, you know, clear some of this out and make that area. I'm not really sure yet. We'll see. In the back here in this little shed, uh, I, this is farming stuff. So this is where we have all of our seeds and our farming outfit and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Up above, I have set down the dew collectors. I did decide to bring the dew collectors over here because, you know, the fact that we can only we can only find jars in loot and they're consumable means that you know using our sink here with the mod and stuff is not not really a sustainable thing. Uh, so yeah, I got the the dew collectors out here. We might even get a couple more later. We'll see. But those are in place, and 
Uh, let's see. Right now, this is dried goods, canned goods, um, coffee in here. Uh, miscellaneous stuff for making, you know, like we need gunpowder for blackstrap and coal for mineral water. Uh, this is the beverage fridge. This is the food fridge for the moment. And you're making mineral water in here in our wall oven. And I think that's... Do I have stuff in here? Oh yeah, I put that in there so that that didn't go back into open mode. We go back downstairs. Um, I'm thinking about maybe making, you know, this is our wine cellar, of course, but also maybe making this our meth lab <laughs> because it's, you know, it's secure. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then in this room, I added a whole bunch of storage. None of it's really assigned yet except for this. Um, you know, this is going to be just for like raw resources, bones, grass, that sort of thing. But, you know, as these bins fill up, we, we can obviously expand. So I'm just leaving them there. And then this room, uh, this is going to be my armory uh, because it's, you know, locked into a vault there. So I made a gun safe and we have all my weapons and all of my weapon mods and parts in here. And then uh, this is ammunition materials, ammunition and explosives. Um, you know, these double as fuel car parts, explosives, but, you know, because I use them for Molotovs, I class them as explosives. And then, of course, I have a workbench in here so that we can make ammo. Haven't done really anything, you know, with the downstairs yet. But if you don't remember, if you didn't see me clear this a few episodes ago, that medical room, I mean, it would be like the ideal place to do this, but the problem is that it's this is the hydroponics. I wish we could actually grow the crops down here, but they need to be outside. Uh, the problem is that this place is it's really far away. I'd have to run all the way here, all the way here, all the way through here, down to the end of the hall, into here. This is the medical room. But, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Because, you know, we went to all the trouble to take this ginormous place, and I'd like to, to utilize more than just did we go up there? oh yeah that's where we fell through um you know then just one spot so that way we can have some fun with it but um I, like i said i just wanted to get everything kind of functional right now and then we can move stuff around upgrade and that sort of thing uh as we go and there's stuff you know like for example this wall here um I could move a Kim bench in here, um, or what we could do is uh, I actually opened the creative menu. We could, you know, get some of these gun racks out and put them up on the wall. Um, that might look look cool, but you know, I'll, I'll give that some consideration later on. Now I've got some bad news, and that is that the four by does not fit underneath this gate. That really sucks, and I don't know, I don't know what to do about that. Um, I wonder if I could, you know, break all of that out and raise the, this up. Uh, let's look at something. If we go into the creative menu. <clears throat> okay. So we have gates. We have the roll up security gate. I don't know. Yeah. I think that is actually the same thing. That's a five by three. And that's a four. Why does it say diagonal? Four by three diagonal. Oh, because it's diagonal. That's why it says that. Okay. Interesting. But okay. So is this five by three larger? No, oh, it's the same one. Shit. Okay. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Obviously, I'd like to be able to pull the, the truck into the driveway, but it doesn't fit under the fucking gate. Hmm. Um, okay, what about... Security gate centered. How big is that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. 
That's not gonna work. Uh, all right. What about the roll-up doors? So these guys. Um, so this one is a seven by four. What is this? This is one, two, three. Okay, that's a five. So do we have a... That's a five by four. I think that's what this other one is, though. Oh, but that is higher up, though. So that might actually work. I mean, I don't think it looks as cool, but we got to get our vehicle in here, man. Hmm. Okay, I, I'm i going to have to think about this. I'm going to think about this and see what, what I want to do. I mean, we could keep it parked outside. But that's not ideal, but... Yeah, to see what I mean, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't quite fit. Oh jeez, sucks. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, um, like I said, I'll I'll give that some thought and figure out what the hell I'm gonna do about that. Uh but it's almost night time, and I think what I'm gonna do is well, I'm trying to decide what I wanna do. Uh, I, I've, I've, I'm giving consideration to going back for another load and getting the rest of our stuff just so I can be done with it. And then, you know, if we do happen to go back there t for, for a horde night, I'll just make sure I take everything with me. Um, my, the route that I ended up taking was we came down here and then down here and then cut across down through here. And then when I got to here... I just started clearing a path through the wasteland, um, but I didn't quite get all the way before nighttime, and I didn't want to be on foot in the wasteland at night. So I still have a little bit more to clear, but we basically have a path that we can cut over there. Um, you know, if we want to go that way. So I'm still debating whether or not I want to widen this tunnel. Because here's the thing, uh, we're not necessarily going to be using the 4x4 all of the time. Uh, the motorcycle is much faster, and it's much better on fuel. And so if we're just going out and about to hit a couple POIs and stuff, I don't necessarily need to take the 4x. Um, so yeah, I just have to kind of figure that out. But what I guess what I'm trying to say is, is it going to be... Is it worth my effort to widen this tunnel? I mean, the answer to that is really yes, it is, because we'll get more materials, we'll get more XP, and then we'll have that quick access over to the eastern end of the map. Um, It's just, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of indecisive about it, but I'll figure it out. I probably am going to widen the tunnel. And the thing is, is it's currently too wide... Um, it's currently too wide, the tunnel is, but I think I could get this through a three-wide tunnel. Because if I put two blocks down, the wheels just protrude uh, halfway on each side. So I could probably fit in there. I mean, it would be really tight, though. But I, you know, ultimately it should probably be four-wide. Um... I can make an auger. I think I can make a level three auger. Yeah. I actually have some bicycle handlebars too back at the other base. That would, would not be hard to do. Um, and it's really not that expensive either. Okay. Well, I have to give that some thought. But I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. And then uh, in the, the next episode... I need to, yeah, well, well, kind of what I'm thinking is this, um, 
when we do episodes, we'll probably do a little bit of work around the base and then, you know, go go do looting or, or other things. Uh, but I also, you know, if we're going to do Horde Night um, here now, and by here, I mean I'd really prefer to do it in the wasteland, which I guess is another reason why I really should widen that tunnel so we can, you know, get to the wasteland more quickly. But what I'm thinking is, you know, um, just choosing a spot just right in, not too far into the wasteland to do the base. Because if we're in the wasteland, you know, then we get the highest game stage and the best loot. And, of course, we're going to get uh, demolishers too. But that's going to happen sooner or later anyways. So I'm not, you know, it's, it is what it is, right, kind of thing. So, um, and if I do that, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'll do most of the build or at least the, you know, the tedious parts of it off camera, but some of that, of course, I want to do with you guys on camera too. So we'll see. We'll see what's, what, what I, I'll, I'll tell you what, when we start the next episode, you'll know what we're going to do. <laughs> so that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. I'm going to get myself a drink of water. The good stuff. Refreshing.